welcome or welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be doing a weekly grocery haul so i've just got my shopping delivered i'm just going to grab everything out and show you what i've got and then i'm going to do kind of like a what i eat in a week but i'm just going to show all my evening meals during the week um if you are new here basically i've been at on a glp1 manjaro i'm on currently at the start of week 16 so at the end of this week, that will be officially four months. So far as of week 15's weigh-in, I am, I've just wrote it down here, I'm 24.58 pounds down to be exact. Um, so yeah, very happy with the way things are going. I'm still on the five milligram pen. Yeah, I've been on the five milligram pen for like three months. I'm unsure if I'm going to go up or yeah, I'll probably speak about that in next week's video. Um, but yeah, I've not done a video like this in a while, so I thought I want to do more of like a weekly foodie vlog. I love watching these types of videos as well. Um, so yeah, let's just start with the shopping. I'm literally just going to pull everything out. Starting off with um, Actimel. So me and my husband both have these, um, the 0% ones have way less sugar i mean it's probably obvious but the difference in sugar is crazy so i have one of these every single day and it's supposed to help with gut health and stuff like that so i have these i have got a ton of protein shakes these are a pound and these was on offer for 75p so i think i've got like eight eight or nine protein shakes but me and my husband have these during the week so we do get quite a lot but they're not very expensive but these are my favourite ones. Got some lettuce, cucumber, spring onions, pack of avocados. I got some frozen fish to have like an easy fish chips and mushy peas meal throughout the week. Now let's move on to the meats. I always get full fat mints because I do my own dog food. So I use mints, sweet potatoes, brown rice, mixed vegetables, chicken livers. But sometimes I mix it up over the week obviously i don't use anything that dogs are not supposed to have and um, but do your own research if you're gonna like make your own dog food and then i got a bunch of chicken breasts for the week um i've also got more chicken breasts in the fridge and i've got sausages so that's why i haven't doesn't look like i've got loads of meat because i have got a few things in the fridge so i've got more sausages for sausage and mash chicken breast more chicken breast in the fridge and then i've got the frozen fish so I think that will be enough throughout the week. Next bag, I've got a big bag of coffee beans as we've got our own coffee machine. We just buy the beans. This was an offer for £6.50, so I just got the big one. Wholemeal bagels, I always get these ones. Sometimes I get the protein thin ones as well, or I'll get both and just pop them in the freezer. Got some ham, I like to snack on ham or just have it on like a sandwich or something. Lemons for my avocado and maybe for like I'm doing a pasta dish or something. Some low fat coleslaw because I think we're going to have a jacket potatoes this week. Yogurt for my daughter. Also got this cooked chicken. It looks really plain and basic, but I like to um, add like seasoning, add um add anything really like spring onions peppers cream cheese whatever chop it up and then add it to a sandwich and it's literally like a five minute meal and it's higher in protein because of the chicken so i've just been getting these radishes to go with my salad i want to make more of like a more of an interesting salad rather than just like lettuce and cucumber this week got some jam donuts my daughter loves jam donuts and so do i these are 326 calories, so I could still eat this in my calorie deficit if I fancy it. Got some more cheese. I'll just get the mature cheddar cheese and some freddos. And of course, a big milk. And that was everything in the first two bags. I've got like dishwasher tablets and stuff like that, but that's boring. I'm not going to show you that. So I'm going to move on to the last bag. I'm not really a cereal person, but this is for my daughter. I used to love these, actually. This would have been my favourite cereal, but I just, I just never fancy it. I'm just not me. I either have for breakfast either a bagel or a protein shake these days. Got some more pasta, I like rigatoni, and um I got some bacon potatoes. Oh my god, these are gonna be good for jacket potatoes. How big is that? So just for a quick meal, and it's so nice, I just do like crispy fluffy jacket potatoes with cheese, beans, and coleslaw and a side salad. Beans are really high in fibre. 
it's not bad for protein and yeah it's just like a quick meal so we've had that once a week for the past couple of weeks got a big broccoli and some of these little baby carrots so just to go with meals that have like vegetables with the meals i always like to have broccoli with um my sausage and mash and i thought this week i can do some like roasted garlic with um carrots to go with one of the meals got some more onions as i've run out and some brown rice for the dogs i usually get like a big one but they only have the small one and then just some baked beans i've got two tins of baked beans sweet potatoes for the dogs i'm not sure if i said i've put sweet potatoes in for the dogs and mouthwash and just a few household bits like dishwasher tablets body wash but yeah that was everything for this week shopping i always get it delivered with sainsbury's I think it was £75 including the delivery so that's not bad you know before I was on a GLP1 I'd say we'd spend £80 to £90 a week on shopping and now I spend between £65 and £75 on shopping and um, but yeah that is everything I will catch up with you Monday tomorrow for the first meal of the week and then I'll just go through all the meals i do track everything i try to reach 100 grams of protein a day my calorie deficit goal that i aim for obviously everyone's will be different is around 1500 to 1600 calories a day so i don't really want to eat any less than that because that would just be too low for me i'm feeling really good on the five milligram dose i'm still getting good food suppression but i'm not feeling that suppressed that i can't eat or anything so i'm just really liking this dose at the moment um so yeah that's just a little update on that and i'll see you tomorrow for dinner so starting off with monday with a big side salad to go with my jacket potato beans cheese and coleslaw so like i said this has been one of our go-to dinners lately sometimes i add butter but today i didn't so i like to put cheese on the bottom then uh the beans and a bit more cheese i believe i had 30 grams and you get a lot of coleslaw for the calories so this was monday's dinner um then moving on to tuesday we had fish chips um the chips are just cooked with some spray oil um, in the air fryer with some mushy peas also mushy peas are really high in fibre and I did have a piece of bread I didn't have any butter on the bread but I did just have a piece so that was Tuesday's dinner moving on to Wednesday we ended up going out for food so we just went for a meal this was a chicken giros I do not know how to say it like who does and it was on the menu, I believe it was around 800 calories, but I didn't eat it all. I left the majority of the chips. So yeah, that was Wednesday's meal. Moving on to Thursday, I've done sausage and mash. These are my favourite low-fat sausages. These are from Aldi. I've tried so many sausages, even like full-fat ones, low-fat ones, and these are definitely my favourite. So I just do some homemade mash with, um, you know, salt, pepper, some milk, and I always add broccoli, some onions, which I do with like Worcester sauce. And yeah, that was um, today's meal. Love this. We have this every week. Moving on to Friday. I was actually feeling a bit ill. It was just me eating. Um, my husband and my daughter were not here. So I just had a subway and that was everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.